India's flag carrier is uh, headed back to its founder, Tata Group. Tata won the bid to buy the heavily indebted Air India for $2.4 billion. The airline was founded by Tata in 1932 before it was privatized in the 1950s. It started running into losses in the late 90s as competition became fierce and successive governments tried selling the money guzzling airline along with its debt but with no success. Last year, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government agreed to take bids for the entire company while retaining some of what the airline owes. Rebecca Bundan joins us live now. Oh, Rebecca, a uh, baggage of a bloated workforce and debt of around $11 billion. So what would Tata's plan of action be to deal with these issues? Well, one of the reasons why the last attempt to sell off the airline in 2018 actually failed was because of the huge debt burden. But this time around, the government sweetened the deal by reducing the amount of debt that the successful bidder would have to take on. So in fact, Tata will only take on about $2 billion worth of that debt, which is still a lot of money, but it's uh, much more manageable than the full amount. But it will, of course, inherit a lot of the, the airline's problems. It has been loss-making over the years, uh, and it does have that bloated workforce. And Tata will be uh, working on ways to streamline operations and improve the uh, financial performance, which, is of, which of course, is, is much needed. Uh, there are, of course, attractive features of the airline, such as its international and domestic landing uh, slots, which are much sought after. But it does also come at a time when the environment is very challenging for the aviation sector. Even before the pandemic, the aviation sector in, uh, in India was struggling uh, because of fierce competition, high operating costs, um, and the pandemic has only made uh, things worse. But Tata is considered uh, a very uh, a good, uh, a good owner for the airline by a lot of analysts who are saying that it's in a great position to actually turn the airline around uh, given that it already has a strong presence in India's aviation uh, industry uh, with its joint ventures of Vistara, with Singapore Airlines and Air, in Air Asia India as well. And how does uh, the sale fit into the government's wider asset sales program? Well, the government has very, very, very ambitious plans this year in terms of its uh, privatization targets. It's aiming to raise uh, 1.75 trillion rupees uh, in, in finances from privatization in this current financial year, including the, the sale of, of Air India. And it's positive that this has gone uh, through this time around with a successful bid uh, from Tata following that last failed attempt in, in 2018. Uh, at the same time, the, the government is also looking to sell off of uh, other uh, companies, including Life Insurance Corp Corporation and Bharat Petroleum, uh, Shipping Corporation of India as well. We have to see how how these attempts go. Um, but at this point in time, the government really is looking to try to boost the economy that has been battered by the, the pandemic. It's really in need of finances at the moment. Um, of course, as well, uh, it was very controversial that Air India was losing so much money, which is essentially uh, taxpayers' money. It was a huge uh, drain on that. So it, has see it is seen as positive uh, that this has gone through. But the government does need finances because it does want to spend more on infrastructure now. It wants to boost jobs and boost the economy. And this is seen as a step towards that. But we'll have to wait to see if India does manage to achieve its broader targets of raising even more money and achieving hitting those targets in terms of privatization in this current financial year. Oh, thanks for that. Uh, Rebecca Bundan there in Mumbai.